Uh, okay, my name is Agustin, and I will be talking about uh, Internet of Things, Web Sockets, and Arduino. I will start with Internet of Things, uh, then Web Sockets, then and the last thing Arduino, and we will be seeing an example application of the three concepts. There you go. Internet of Things. Uh, the, internet of, the Internet of Things is a system of interrelated computer devices, it can be mechanical or digital, objects, animal or people, that have a unique identifier and the ability to transfer data over a network without requiring human-to-human -human or human-to-computer interaction. A thing on the Internet of Things can be either a person, uh, a farm animal, a biochip transponder, and a car or anything that has built-in sensors that can uh, alert other uh, things in the network uh, and has an IP address uh, uh, and has the ability to transfer their data, to share their data. Okay, web sockets. Uh, in a typical client-server architecture, each time a client needs to communicate with the server, it sends a request. Sometimes it's useful to send data from the server to the client without requiring the client to send a request. So the client doesn't need to be pulling the whole time uh, asking for the, for the resource, for the request. So creating a web server lets the parts have a persistent connection and send by the bidirectional data anytime they want. If, if you have any questions, just interrupt me and, and ask, we will continue. Okay, a web socket is a protocol, a communication protocol, providing full duplex communication a channel over a single TCP connection. Uh, a web socket is designed to be implemented in web browsers and web servers, and the communication is done over TCP port, uh, which is uh, naturally uh, often is done in the, in the port 80, because most of the firewalls doesn't block it because it's a web port. So most of the communication is done on, on that port. Here we can see a typical flow of the web socket communication. First of all, the client uh, initializes the connection with the server, and they make a TCP handshake. And later, they can both send data until one of them closes the connection. OK, in JavaScript, uh, we will use a socket.io library, that is the JavaScript library that implements uh, web sockets. With it, you can create and connect the sockets and listen for messages and fire events when messages are received. Uh, we will see in more detail in, in the example application that we will be seeing next. There in detail. Arduino. Arduino is an open source electronic platform used to, based on an easy to use hardware and software. Arduino boards are able to read inputs uh, such as light on a sensor or a finger in a button and turn into an out activating a motor or turning on a, a LED. You can tell your board what to do by sending a set of instructions to the microcontroller on the board on the Arduino. To do so, you can use the Arduino programming language or some libraries like we will use uh, in JavaScript. So to, to program our Arduino, we will uh, use Johnny5, that it's a library that uh, let us write Arduino, uh, control the Arduino in JavaScript. So it gives us an interface to control the Arduino and the devices that are connected to them, to it, sorry, triggering events when a sensor uh, changes its value, for example. And here in the, in the diapo, we can see an example written in, in Node.js that, uh, okay, when the board is ready, there you see the, like the event ready. Uh, the, uh, you tell the Arduino to blink the LED uh, that is connected to the pin number 13, and it blinks each uh, 500 uh, milliseconds. That's what this code do. Example. 
So in order to see the three concepts that we saw, that we viewed, uh, we will create an application that controls the Arduino through a web interface. The web interface talks to the controller, that is the Arduino controller, uh, through web sockets. That's the, the main channel of communications. And we will use a light sensor connected to the Arduino that monitors the, le the light level of the room and fires an event each time the level changes. So when it's dark, the, it will turn on a, a, a lamp and we need, uh, how do you say it? <laughs> when it, when the, light, the, the, the light level is high, it will, the lamp will turn off. So for that, we will use the light sensor and relays. That relays uh, are a component that connects two wires or, or closed a circuit when an electrical signal is sent to it. The server of the application is written in Node.js and implements the interface with the Arduino using Johnny 5, the library that we saw, and the web sockets uh, and, and, and implements the web sockets communication with a web client using socket.io, the library that we saw. Uh, also, the web client is written in AngularJS and uses the socket.io library to communicate with the server. And also, we use Arduino and the physical components, the relays and the, the relays and the light sensor. Here we can see the interface of the application that uh, I will now show it. Tell me if you can see it. Sorry. Yes, we can see it. Yep. And let me check if Sandino can... If you see Sandino's... Uh, where Sandino is, pres is presenting his Hangout, you can see, you can see me <laughs> and my computer. Okay, because now we will see like, like uh, the application working. <laughs> and in my, in my presentation, you can see the... The, inter the web interface that when I turn on the, for example, the the lampara <laughs> uh, checkbox. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. okay. When I check it, the the lamp turns on and off. I don't know if you can see it in Sandino's camera and in my web interface. Can you see it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What happens here is that when I click here, let's let's inspect it. Controllers, check in. When I click it, this this function is fired, and if the the state is off, it turn it. If, sorry, if the state is true, it uh, turns off the pin. Otherwise, it turns on the pin, and this function. Let's get into there. Emits a message on the socket a message uh, called off pin okay and the server what turns off the pin that the, the lamp is connected uh, using the Johnny 5 to, to talk with the Arduino we can also use uh, the sensor that we can see at the, at the right of my screen of the web client the web interface that this sensor is a light sensor that when the light is high, the lamp is off, and when the light turn off, please on it. When the light is uh, low, it detects the the room and turns on the pin where the lamp is connected. That is the same pin that we can see here in the left of the of the interface. We can we can we can manage that pin in both. Uh, with a sensor or with a checkbox. We can also turn on, for example, a fan uh, with this pin. By clicking it, we can turn on the fan. No, sir. We won't be able to see it. Okay, here we can see the, the circuit. Actually, we are only using this. This is the protocol to, to use the connections. And this is the Arduino, this little thing is the Arduino. And these are the relays. Okay. 
These three are the relays. Here is where the lamp is connected. If you follow this blue wire, you go to the lamp. And this one is where the fan is connected. So each time I want to turn on the lamp, two cables are joined, so the connection, the, the, the electricity can go forward. And that's it. Do you have um, any questions? Not by now. Do you understand, Daniel? Yeah, I, I, I recognize the circuit. It's nice. If you guys want to get the, the code for the application so you can see it in detail, in detail, there is in the conference, there is the link for the GitHub uh, repo so you can get it and, and play with it. You will need an Arduino and some relays, but you can use it.